Whoa! <laughs> what beautiful dogs. Hit the subscribe button and join us before that gang of hoodlums gets any closer. So do you ever let him out and let him, you know, stretch his legs out in the, <laughs> oh, in the yeah, gate? She... Isle Falls up there. Apparently, this is a pond that has turtles. You could see a little bit of the waterfall over there. We are crashing this side here. They yeah. don't know we're coming. Yeah. This is like a reality show. <laughs> So it looks like they have a fence up, and that's probably to keep the turtles in. So look at that. So they obviously like their turtles. Nice hill. Nice waterfalls. It's got a feeding tube in here. Let's see. So you got the whole fence up for the turtle, right? Yeah. That springtime is when she likes to go roaming. Yep. They do that. Mm -hmm. So you said that you have another turtle that's in here because they don't get along, huh? Yep. So how, how did you decide to put which one in punishment? Well, I leave that up to my wife. <laughs> the turtle thing is, is hers. Mm -hmm. Where is he? I don't see him. He's in there. Just a little guy? So you have this on for raccoons? Oh, I see him. Greg got into the dirt. Oh, yeah. Another red ear. Pretty guy. Is the other one about this big? A little bigger. Okay. Very nice. What's up, buddy? You don't have to be so shy. So do you ever let him out and let him, you know, stretch his legs out in the, oh, <laughs> the yeah, big gate? She lets him out of the So how long have you had the turtles? Is that why you got the pond? Because of the turtles? Yeah. I consider them the luckiest turtles in the world. How long have you had the pond? Four or five years. So is it your wife's idea because she likes turtles or what? Well, it's her pond. How much work is it? Oh, that's not too bad. So she enjoys it, huh? Uh-huh. Well, that's cool. Well, it looks beautiful. What a nice slope that you have. You got a fish cave down there. Another fish cave there. Falls up there. Where are we pulling up to? We are going to Doug and Ingrid's house who wanted a large kind of swim koi pond. They had wanted koi for years and years. They've got a, a nice size lot here. So it's not a complete swim pond. It's about four feet. They've got lots of koi. Doug is a um, really cool guy. He's a college professor, one of the um, cancer survivors in my life. He's doing very well. Totally cool guy. And that is Ingrid right there. Hi, Ingrid. <laughs> I love it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I love the little setup you got there to run the dogs. I guess because they don't know him, but with me, they once we get around the corner, they like to take off. That's a good way to get your <laughs> dogs exercise. Yeah. I'm the pond guy. Hi, pond guy. Nice, nice to meet you. you. This is Ingrid. Hi, I'm Ingrid. Ingrid. Hi. I'm the pond guy, but this really is the pond nice guy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice, Greg. Uh, come see my... Uh, my favorite fit. You go towards the bottom there with the big mustache. Oh yeah, an albino catfish. Those are time where I was looking for some uh, mosquito fish. And yeah, those are. Didn't have them, so they said these will do the same thing. They're ruby reds. Are the ruby reds? Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's the other catfish right there with the white head and gray body. That's really cool. Do you ever get in there and get wet? Absolutely. What we do in summer is we actually put on snorkels and fins. Yes. And go down and um, the fish are really fairly passive. I mean, they just hang out with us. Really cool, and you got an outdoor shower right here too. Outdoor shower. Right next to the pond. Now that, you're my kind of guy, buddy. <laughs> I like it. Welcome to Southern California. The plants in Southern California are just constantly confused about what's going on. <laughs> Ordinary fish. 
really beautiful watching people put this together. Watching it, and, it's art. and uh, it's art. It is art. It is art. And um, you know, he he uses the analogy. It says it's like the Egyptians built the pyramids, and uh -huh. uh, and it is. Well, how did you decide to get a swim pond? That was my wife. That okay. was my wife. She had been reading up on European swim ponds and yes. things, and yes. she she said, "Wow, if, you know, I'll I'll go with your redoing of the pond." If you'll go with me, being a, 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 making it a swim pond, and yep. I said, "Cool with me." We got online and started yes. finding out all this cool stuff about your pond. And what do you think of Cliff? How, how, how did Cliff do? Cliff is like the coolest person on earth. <laughs> Look at uh, you! I pay him. You gotta, tell your, you gotta tell your granddaughter that. Pay him. Yeah, she already thinks I'm cool. <laughs> He's great. We've had nothing but joy with this. What do people say they come into your backyard for the first time? They're astounded. It's like you've gone to a resort somewhere. You're seeing something that's, uh, you know, it's so natural and it's so beautiful. How many people have a backyard with a swimming pool and no one would ever say anything? That's but right. you got a recreation or a swim pond and everybody that comes there is going to notice. It's just different. It is. And it, it's it, so much more enjoyable because even when you're not swimming in it, it looks beautiful. And, and it's funny because Invariably, when you're swimming, you get a little water in your mouth or something. It's the purest tasting water you can, you know. And <laughs> so I'm thinking the there, are, there are hundreds of fish in here. But it always stays clean, right? Yeah. How much work do you put into this? I think my wife empties that once every couple of weeks, and uh, that's about it. It's an ecosystem, unlike yeah. a swimming pool that you have to have a guy come every single week to add right. the chemicals to. And most people just pay someone to do that. They don't even really use their swimming pools. Right. Here, maintenance is pretty much taking care of itself. You touch on really the important point there, and that is that one of the great things about having this pond here is that it creates the ba the groundwork for an e a whole ecosystem. So we love looking out here and seeing dragonflies Nature. and butterflies and uh, you know, hummingbirds, and Build I think it. they've doubled or tripled since yeah. we've had they the need, They need areas like this. Right. I mean, we're in a desert. Right. They need natural water. Yep. People say, oh, that's a waste of water. Well, how about all of the chlorinated swimming pools that are in every other house versus an aquascape ecosystem recreation pond that the wildlife can enjoy as well as the people. Absolutely. Amen to that. Hey, yeah. thanks for uh, Thank letting you so us much. invade your privacy. I want to let you get back to your newspaper and your coffee. It's, um, <laughs> it looks pretty good, but yeah. it's always fun to meet the customers of my customers. I really appreciate it, everything that you've done. Thank you. So here's a, the wetland filtration system for this. It's got a snorkel and a centipede, upflow biological filter. The water comes through here, through the plants, rolls back down, and you get crystal clear water just like that. This is what would be referred to as a recreation pond, meaning that you could swim in it, you could sit and enjoy it, you could uh, uh, wade in it. So a recreation pond is typically a bigger water feature that you have a multiple use. So instead of getting a swimming pool, that you use only with one function, you can have a recreation pond, which is beautiful all the time, unlike a necessarily a traditional swimming pool. And uh, you can occasionally get yourself wet, and like this guy does. I love it. That's the, I think that's the first recreation pond that we've seen uh, on this trip to California. But it's so neat because it's so different than the average person with just a swimming pool. And uh, I love it because you get to be able to have something that you can enjoy 365 and not just only when you're swimming in it. If you like what you see, if you're enjoying visiting these kinds of houses, visiting these kinds of people, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join us before that gang of hoodlums gets any closer. What the heck? Let's go talk to them, see what they're up to. What's up, guys? Much. We're trying to figure out what uh, you got a tour. Yeah, we have a little tour going to a walking group going by. For what? A high school? Uh, it's College. a transition program. Oh, okay. We just, we just it's with Santa Ana Unified. Yeah. You and are, are you just walking through the neighborhood? We just we're just walking. walking. We're gonna walking. have a, just a half a day for that. Would you like to see something super cool? Sure. This guy is super dope. Hey, I'm the pond guy. I'm great. Yeah. The pond guy? Yeah. This is awesome. What you're about to see is gonna blow your mind. It's super cool. Fish. There's a koi fish. He knows his fish. I love it. Isn't that gorgeous? How about a hand for the homeowner for letting us be back here, huh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's roll. All right, guys. Go ahead. Have a Day. Uh, my pleasure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Why is it not focusing? There we go. 